Oh, for Masilio! All right, all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce the national uh, EFF uh, officials are here. They will be entering right there. And I'm going to give my official here, what is he, to introduce the national president as he steps inside. Okay, thank you. Amansa! Amansa! FIFA, EFF, FIFA! FIFA, EFF, Student Command, FIFA! Hawari, EFF! Oh, Student Command! Hoso Fonda! Horegane! Horegane! Hiohal! Hawari, EFF! Students command Hoso Fonda Horegane Stand up comrades Horegane Hoyoa Stand up comrades Hoyoa Alright Hoyoa Let's get up Let's get up Hoyoa 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 How are you? Oh, students, come on. Oh, so fond of Hungry Gane, Hungry Gane, Hiohal, Hokalu, 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 What is something I wish for me, Lemina? I want to do what I say. Something I wish for me, Lemina. Oh, Mama, let's have it. Let's have it. So, Lemina. Oh, Mama, let's have it. Ah! 
Amanda! Amanda! FIFA EFF Student Command, FIFA! FIFA! Long live the EFF Student Command, long live! FIFA President Sitle Lonzi FIFA 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 President Sitle Lonzi FIFA 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 VUT FIFA 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 VUT FIFA 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 City Bank Tivet College FIFA 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 City Bank College FIFA 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 Northwest University FIFA 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 Northwest University FIFA FIFA Amanda Aweto Amanda Aweto Aweto Amanda Aweto Amanda No thank you very much comrades fighters for your patience so we are not going to waste time we are going to kick start the program so that we are able to can be on track and does not get late so we must then register that apology to all of you to say that we had committed that the program will start earlier. Unfortunately, due to other unforeseen circumstances, we had a bit of a delay. So we are going to kick start the program. We are going to have the national organizer to come in and give us a proper revolutionary anthem of black people. Amanda! 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 FIFA EFF Student Command FIFA! Viva. Viva EFF Student Command Viva. Viva. Happy Pete EFF Happy Pete. Happy Pete EFF Happy Pete. No, thank you very much, comrades. My name is Lilani Mbuisa, the national organizer. Can we all stand up, comrades, and sing, sing our national anthem composed by Onok Sotonga? All those who are wearing hair, please remove them, comrades. It's only parallels. Yeah. Nkosi sigeleli Afrika Malu paganyisu pondolwayo Yeswa emeta dazo yetu Nkosi Sigelela ti Tina lusa polwayo Nkosi sigeleli Afrika Malu paganyisu pondolwayo Yeswa emeta Dazo yetu Nkosi Sigele lati Tinalu sapolwayo Siti woza moya woza moya Woza Hawoza mwoza moya Woza Woza moya Oi Oi ngwele Ngozi Sigele lati Tinalu sapolwayo Mure na bulu kasi cha sa Yesu, ufedi zedi ntuali maswenye. Mure na bulu kasi cha sa Yesu, ufedi zedi ntuali maswenye. Ose bulu geu. Ose buluge murena, si buluge ose chabasa, Yesu si chabasa, Afrika magube jalo. Magube jalo 
kute kube nguna pagate kute kube nguna hauma kube hauma kube magube njalo kute kube nguna pagate Kote kube nguna pag Amanda Awetu Awetu Amanda Thank you very much comrades Thank you very much comrades Comrades I think it's very important Before we continue our problem To clarify this We must be able to sing Our decolonize a natural item and be able to go through it but nonetheless let's continue our program comrades my name is Lilian Buisa, the national organizer of the Children command now i'm going to call someone who's going to bless us with a prayer uh, because every time when we have programs we must get blessings so i'm going to call our pastor paul mpobole to come forward and give us blessings over to you Amanda. Amanda. Away to. Away to. Amanda. Hi, Pile, EFF, hi, Pile. Hi, Pile. Hi, Pame, EFF, hi, Pame. Hi, Pame. Tata, EFF, Tata. Tata. Tata, EFF, Tata. Tata. Rosa 24, 2024, Rosa. Rosa. Amanda. Away to. Away to. Amanda. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take this opportunity to honor the leadership uh, the president the leadership the president of EFF Ndatesilo Julius Malema and the executive of EFF executive the president of student command I honor you, everybody in the house. Be greeted. You know, repila na kony eo reshoka motivation. Especially when we look at our country the way it is. Reka review into VUT. Where we are building the second phase of our generation and our economy. Hakisheba kante kama na usonzo ba na kumesebeti hayo, maguskolo. Jole rieta juan katabaye ukitsherumu la ita wa motivation Genesis chapter thirty seven. Orin Joseph generation. Joseph generation, my leaders, it's a generation with a vision. It's a generation erring. Even if you can throw me inside the pit, I will come out and be the prime minister. I will come out and be the leader. Joseph generation, the generation is stopping my ammo. Josepha banababo banabamumunela. They throw him inside the pit. But he came out alive. And I declare in 2024, may EFF come out alive. I say I declare in 2024, may our universities, may our economy change in the name of Jesus. And I believe jealousy will never stop you hatred will never stop you criticism will never stop you you're gonna come out the winner even though joseph the president i pray for you may you conquer wherever you are may you win wherever you are may you become the best wherever you are Amanda. Oh, oh.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with these wonderful people. I bless this event in Jesus' name. Amen. Amanda! No, thank you very much, uh, uh, our pastor, for these blessings. Now, since no muzi wawo. So we must allow uh, the provincial chairperson of the EFF uh, to come and give us a way forward. Uh, I will now call uh, Martin Bangoben, uh, the provincial, uh, provincial chairperson of the EFF Student Command here in Houghton to give us blessings. Over to you, Chairman. Amanda! Amanda! Also to greet the chairperson of the EFF in the province of Gauteng, the incoming premier of Gauteng, Commissar Kuleko Dunga. Also, comrades, to welcome members of the CSCT led by the capable Secretary General, Commissar Tombo. Also, comrades, to welcome the leadership of the branch led by the capable leader, Chairperson Chigani. <laughs> but most important, comrades, not to forget the SRC leadership led by the capable leadership of the president, leadership Mandla. Mandla. Comrades, also to admire the present of the first chairperson of the EFM Student Command here in Houghton Fighter, Franz Ngoveni. <laughs> President, Desmond Tutu is a very important figure in the history of the EFF Student Command. This is the same venue that all delegates of South Africa they've gathered here to elect the second layer of the EFF Student Command led by the President Peter Casey. I welcome all of you, comrades. But I have a very special message for you, students of VUT. As the young people, we said 2024 is our 1994. That means that, comrades, we must make sure that we register to vote and vote for the only organization that is going to provide job opportunities for the unemployed graduates that is going to usher in free quality and well-resourced education. Comrades, the community struggles, the student struggles. That is why today we are stuck because of the introduction of Isaac. 
because that Isaac was introduced by the corrupt minister called Blade Zimad. We must make sure that 2024 we restart to vote and vote for the EFF where the ministry is going to be governed by the EFF and the only organization that cares for students. But the president, let me take this opportunity also to report to you that this is VUT is the same university that on the previous elections gave us absolute majority. We never ended there, president. We have deployed the SRC that is in constantly communication with students that is always assisting students when they are facing problems led by President Mandla who made sure that he wanted to keep down and strike for our meal allowances who made sure that he wanted to keep down and strike for our accommodation allowances and we believe that students in the coming SRC election you are still going to trust EFF because EFF is the only vehicle that will make sure that we deal with day-to-day -day challenges of students. Amanda, all of you comrades, you are welcome. The president is going to give us a message of hope to those who thought that is finished. The EFF is here, comrades. Make sure that you restart to vote and vote for the only organization that is going to make sure that we, we industrialize the sector that's going to make sure that we provide sustainable jobs. Amanda! Oh, two! Amanda! Away, two! No, thank you very much, uh, Chairperson uh, of the province. Uh, remember, comrades, we can't separate the EFF Student Com Command from the EFF. So us, as a Student Command, we were born under the leadership of the EFF. So now, comrades, you must allow us to actually call upon the provincial Chairperson of the EFF here in Houteng, Commissar to come and give us a message of support. Over to you, Chairman. Tina Gutala Zawalaza, Sisini Shumile Minyaga. Tina Gutala Zawalaza, Hausini Shumile Minyaga. Julius Malima wa Yeshilu, Sizo Wani Shumile Minyaga. Amanta! Amanda, how are you? How are you? My cool EFF, my cool. Hi, Hule EFF Student Command. Hi, Hule. Ripilele Commander in Chief Julius Selomalema. Ripilele. Ripilele President Sitelonzi. Ripilele. Amanda, how are you? Amanda. No, thank you. Um, as we were sitting here, we were thinking that perhaps we must get them to that to come and make a rendition of the original Ngosisigelela by Enoch Sondonga so that we are all in understanding. Uh, the anthem that we have just sang is a prayer for all black people. It is the original um, national anthem. It was supposed to be the national anthem. It is an unfortunate uh, series of events that were led by sellouts uh, and old people who have no appreciation for the struggles that they initially engaged in. Let me begin to greet the EFF Student Command Central Command Team led by the Secretary General Zwanga Dombo and the ever-president, ever-present President Sile Lonzi, uh, receive our revolutionary welcome in the year of the EFF that has been declared mass political education and voter registration. Giving Elele, members of the provincial command team, led by the former EFF student command chairperson in the province, 
Fighter France Ngubeni, Gibingelele, members of the EFF Student Command, structures of the EFF, Ganyanani uh, Futi, students of uh, the various institutions, and voters of the EFF in 2024. Uh, we need to emphasize and reiterate the year of mass political education. This political agenda and the vision is the most significant program in the EFF uh, going towards the 2024 general elections, where people of South Africa, especially yourselves being young, will be presented with an opportunity to vote and install a government of your own choice. Mass voter registration is also extremely significant to the student command and the students in particular as it presents you, the youth of South Africa, with an opportunity to mobilize yourselves and the community towards the program to set the political tone and agenda of the future of this country. It represents us the opportunity to determine the economic agenda of this country, to have a say in the economics which govern our lives and sometimes define our fate. The youth still constitute majority of the population in this country, and in Gauteng in particular. The youth, particularly the black youth, constitute majority of those who are unemployed in society. And it is you and your brothers who wake up to the highest statistics of the people who are trapped in drug abuse, crime, and even suicide activities. The unemployment rate of the people between the age of 15 to 24 is now standing at 61%. And 25 to 35 years is standing at 40%. So you are going to become graduates. I want to become graduates out of universities, but you are, you are going into unemployment. This means that if this situation remains unaltered, the thousands of young people in universities, a majority of them will graduate and you are going to stay at home. At the same time, the youth constitutes majority of almost 24 million of those who are unregistered to vote in South Africa. While the youth finds itself outside economic activities of this country, the same youth appears to be disinterested in participating in those activities which could see them becoming the deciding factor and who is in charge of the political and economic agenda in this country. So we need to mobilize as young people and as students and vote. More importantly as well, we need the student command and students to also participate, President, in the mainstream politics of the EFF mother body in itself. You need to be on the ground. You need to ensure that we do not prolong this revolution. We also need you to also form part of the structures of the EFF because to purely rely on the ticket of being a student command member to progress is in itself extremely regressive by nature. We need you as students to also form part of the mother body, form part of the branches and the structures of the EFF mother body, because it is therein that you are even going to shape the EFF in itself, in its discourse. In conclusion, the EFF student command you have decided to hold this last rally towards the 29th of July, 2023, here at VUT. The VUT is one of the first branches to decisively register the earliest victories of the EFF-led student movement in South Africa. The EFF Student Command here is the second branch to win majority SRC elections in the entire country. And since then, the EFF Student Command here has never lost touch with students, and this hall is an evidence thereof. So this is where we come ourselves to draw inspiration to what victory is. We do not know what victory is. We get to taste it here and there in the city of Johannesburg, in Mukhalesi, Tigangane, Gangane, but it is here where you are governing, where we draw inspiration, where we draw the ideas of running government. 
But we must also say that it is, we also understand that it is on this very same venue that Desmond Tutu Hall, where the second layer of the EFF Student Command SCT was elected. The second National Student Assembly was held in this hall in 2017. So this place is no stranger to historic events. However, we must say this, that we have not forgotten that this hall is named after Desmond Tutu. This is the hall that is named after someone who treated Mama Wini with complete disdain at the, at the prize, at the time when he was presiding over TRC, wanted her to apologize for the acts against apartheid when she was reacting to what the apartheid regime did to black people. It is this venue, perhaps it is time, President, that the SRC and the students of this VUT look at renaming this venue because we are here more than anything to do a cleansing ceremony as the EFF student command here. It cannot be that post-apartheid, the only celebration we can stomach as both the EFF and the student command is the establishment of the Sol Plaiki University. The honest truth is that educationally bankrupt ANC has not built a new university post-apartheid. They just decided to find a building and name it Sol Plaiki in Kimberley. They have never started anything ground up. On the 29th of July, students and campuses, we will be celebrating the 10th years of the EFF. This is 10 years of the unbroken struggle, 10 years of the fight for economic emancipation, 10 years of the fight for jobs, 10 years for the fight of land, 10 years for expropriation of land without compensation, 10 years of fighting against corruption. It's also 10 years of fighting for free and decolonized education. We are here to also not only celebrate with yourselves as the student command, but to also extend our invitation as the EFF to say, you are welcome to join us. We'd love to see each and every single one of you in multiples coming to the 29th of July 2023 at FNB Stadium as we celebrate 10 years of unbroken struggle. With that being said, Amanta, how are you? Two. Uh, thank you very much, Chairperson uh, of Houghton. We appreciate your present. Uh, I'm now going to shoot straight to the introduction of RCT, PSCT, and, DA, and CSCT by the Deputy Secretary General of the EFF Student Command National. Over to you, TSG. Viva EFF, viva! Viva EFF Students Command, viva! Viva EFF Students Command, VUT, viva! Happy birthday, EFF, happy birthday. Happy birthday, EFF, happy birthday. CIA, FNP, I'm 29, CIA. CIA, FNP, I'm 29, CIA. CIA, FNP, I'm 29, CIA. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, thank you very much. Um, let me take this moment and greet uh, the Gauteng Provincial Command Team delegation. Uh, which is led by the provincial chair, Komisang uh, Kulego Tunga. Our city members uh, from Sidibeng region, Gauteng. Uh, Our city members from Eteguini region, KZN. Um, the president of the EFF Students Command, Komisang Sifelonzi. The officials of the EFF Students Command, members of the CSCT, uh, the Gauteng Provincial Students uh, command team, which is led by Chairman uh, Martin Bangobeni, uh, the BSCT of Val University of Technology, uh, the SRC of VUT, led by uh, President Manda, uh, fighters, guests, ground forces, and everyone that is in attendance. The mood is indeed that of Ishumile Minyaga DP, Siabon Banyan, Students Command of the EFF, CIA FNP, Komsara 29. 
Mine is very short and straightforward. Uh, it is to introduce the Central Students Command Team members that are with us today. So I'll just ask Ubani Parmes and Jay and then wave uh, when I call out your names. Uh, we are joined by the Gauteng Provincial Chairperson, Chairman Martin Bangobeni. We have the only provincial, the female provincial chairperson we have in the CSCT from Limpopo, Chairman Rochi, Rochitswa Mukwevos. Apologies. And then we have the Western Cape provincial chairperson, Fighters Gelela Msuzazwe. We have the gender officer, Fighter Naledi Rabosuan. The Stakeholder Relations Officer, Fighter Sema Tum Tum. We have the National Organizer, Fighter Lindilani Muisa. The Convener of Deployees in Gauteng, uh, Residence Lizing Officer and SRC Head of Elections, Fighter Debu Hosago. <laughs> And then I move on to the officials. We have the Treasurer General, Fighter Amanda Ndombele. Tish, you can just fagamanje bantuin. Amanda! Amanda! Awe tu? Seng zeng apila no moya gumnandika kuleval. Sanbonan ngobese gashilo Amanda Ndombele. Thank you, TG. Uh, we have the Secretary General, uh, Commissar Zwanga Tombo. Amanda! Amanda! Viva EFF Student Command! Viva! Viva EFF Student Command! Viva! Happy birthday, EFF! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, EFF! Happy birthday! Amanda! We two. Thank you, SG. And then we have our second in command of the Students' Command, uh, UDP, uh, Deputy President Mzugisim Notoza. Manja! Manja! Hey, Cho! Hey, Cho! Manja! Kri na mfuno mnyamo sabala zao zao ngoba kina! Kri na mfuno mnyamo sabala zao zao ngoba kina! Forward with free quality and decolonized education! Forward! Forward! Forward with free quality and decolonized education! Forward! Forward! Manja! Hey, Cho! Hey, Cho! Manja! Oza 2024! Oza! Oza! Oza 2024! Oza! Oza! Fute! Xirel! Fute! Futek Sirel Futek 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 Blade Futek 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 Blade Futek 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 Blade Futek Futek Manja Hey Jo Manja No thank you very much comrades My task today is very very simple I am here to introduce to you the first respondent to the crisis of higher education. I am here to introduce to you, comrades, the one who understands the task that has been bestowed to him, which is to rally students and the youth behind the banner of the EFF. Allow me, comrades, to bring on stage the orator, the intellectual, the Marxist Leninist, a student of economic heterodox. Nyelez, comrade president. Hawa kala gabu sumulum tuan Si sewa ngane si seli na ye Wa ye shelo mama wake Wati mchulisi Hewa kala gabu sumulum tuan Si sewa ngane si seli na ye Wa ye shelo mama wake Wati mchulisi Sawa 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 kama ziwe no no sawa hiyo sawa 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 sawa
Parachul ya smalema soza balaza sufu magam nandi Parachul ya smalema soza balaza sufu magam nandi Yona ya shole ya kaka kaka ya fumagam nandi Yona ya shole ya kaka kaka ya fumagam nandi Kati fugu tele teleze Anza Kawe to Pambili nge EFF Pambili Pambili nge EFF Students Command Pambili Kina mfundi kina Kina mfundi kina Zabalaza mfundo mnyama Zabalaza Zabalaza mfundo mnyama Zabalaza Sia mtata ukava men Sia mtata Sia mtata ukava men Sia mtata Oza 2024 Oza Oza 2024 Oza Sia ya FNB Sia ya Sia ya FNB Sia ya No thank you very much To the deputy president of the EFF Students Command, Comrade SG, today we must not speak too much because this is a celebration. And in a celebration, we can have political discourse, but ultimately we must celebrate because on the 29th of July, we are celebrating 10 years of the economic freedom fighters. So when we gather like this, city we are engaged in a build-up. We ought to be in an engagement that defines and represents young people. So abanabacha are not people abafunu tetaka kulu. Even at Kaushela, once you talk too much, no sis, ute puti, you are speaking too much. Or oh, dancing, it's a club. Don't talk too much. So we are not going to speak a lot. But it's important that when we gather as young people, even though we know that the artists, they are coming, the cows, they have been slaughtered, they are here, but we must also take time to engage on the politics of South Africa. Fighters were here today to celebrate and have a build-up celebration towards the 10th anniversary of the EFF. This is a big moment for us because when the EFF was formed in 2013, many had written the obituary of the EFF. Many had said the EFF is not going to survive after one year. When we survived one year, they said it's not going to survive after two years. When we survived two years, they said it's not going to survive after three years. They are the same as COPE. When we survived three years, they said after elections, they are going to fight amongst each other for positions. When we entered elections, we got seats in council, we got seats in parliament, there was no one who was fighting for positions. After we conquered that, they said they are led by a dictator. And to be led by a dictator is not sustainable. They are not going to last after six or seven years. Look at us now. We have arrived at 10 years. We are going to continue to grow whether they like it or not. So we must celebrate this victory of the EFF. Because the victory of the EFF is not just a victory of EFF. It's a victory of every young person in South Africa who comes from the township who comes from the rural areas, 
who says, I don't have money, I don't come from a rich family, but I am going to university, even though the neighbors are jealous, even though the neighbors are saying, I am not going to graduate, even though the neighbors are saying, I am going to fail like all these other kids in the townships, I am going to a university, I am going to enter, and when I arrive, I will find the EFF student command and it will say to me whether I have money or not I must register and I must complete my studies so the victory of the EFF is such a victory the victory of the EFF is a story of each and every black child when you are sitting here you must never look at it as if it is something that is distant from you because as you walk your journey there are many people who are going to say to you, you are not going to succeed. There are many people who are going to doubt you. There are many people who are going to say, this one's uncle was a drunkard, therefore that family is a family of drunkards. There is nothing that we must expect from them. So when we look at the EFF, we are looking at a generation that was spoken down to. We are looking at a generation that each and everyone was doubting. Each and everyone was saying, these ones are not going to make it. But the EFF is here. The EFF has remained firm. And the EFF on the 29th of July will be filling up FNB Stadium. And let me tell you, filling up FNB Stadium, I see my paper up. It's very difficult, that thing. I think even Soweto Derby, Comrade SG, has not filled up FNB in a very long time. I don't even want to talk about that sound downs there in Mamelodi. So what the EFF is going to achieve on the 29th has shaken a lot in the political landscape of South Africa. Many of them are trying to come up with all sorts of tricks to stop the EFF from filling up FNB. So as young people, we must count ourselves amongst those who will form part of the historic occasion, which will be the celebration of the 10 years of unbroken struggle of the EFF. Fighters, when we say 2024 must be 1994, we are not just speaking out of excitement. You know, one day you must sit your grandmother down, those of you who still have, I've set my grandmother down before she passed away. And I asked her to narrate, what did it feel like in 1994 when you guys went to go and vote? And when you sit your grandmother down, she will walk with you. She will talk about you, how emotional that day in 1994 was for them. She will tell you that in 1994, everything had to come to a standstill. Whether you were going to church, uh, Comrade Muruti, even the churches, they had to close because there was something very critical that we were dealing with in 1994. All the shipbeans were not operating on that day because even the shipbean owners understood that there is something very important that we ought to achieve in 1994. Because that generation thought they would die without ever tasting political power in South Africa. They have seen many come before them. Many who have said we are going to achieve this thing of liberation. Mandela is going to come out. But they died without ever reaching 1994. So when you have that discussion with your grandmother, you will begin to understand how serious they took the moment of 1994. There was no one who could have stood in the way between them and the 1994 elections. So when we have that understanding and we, as the youth of South Africa, the unemployed youth, the youth that is drowning in drug and alcohol abuse, the youth that will graduate here today but will find no jobs in the market, the youth that does not have NSFAS, the youth that does not have student accommodation, the youth that will not be able to graduate because there is student debt on your account, you are not going to get your certificate. So when you confront 2024, 
you ought to have the same emotion that our grandparents had when they were confronting 1994. You ought to take a decision to say there must be no one who must stand between us and 2024. There must be no alcohol that must stand between us and 2024. There is no one who can stop us. No army can stop us. No police can stop us. We have an appointment with 2024. So we must take this very seriously. Fighters, we must be extremely honest with each other. You know, when you speak to your friends in institutions of higher learning, as well as in your communities. You must tell them that all of these problems that students are experiencing at the campus level, and all of these problems that young people are experiencing, they will never be fully resolved once you have the ANC in government. You must be honest, you must not even lie to each other. We can protest until we buy new shoes because the other ones have been ruined by rubber bullets. But until we remove the ANC from power, there is nothing that is going to change about our problems. Why am I saying this? Okay, let's take a very simple example. Let's take NSFAS. NSFAS board is appointed by who? Is appointed by a minister. Who appoints the minister? Is the president. Which political party does the president belong to? Is the ANC. So where does NSFAS belong to? The ANC. Okay, leave NSFAS. When you go to your institutions of higher learning, the minister is the one that influences and appoints what is called university councils. Who do those belong to? The ANC. When they choose a vice chancellor, do you think they are going to choose a vice chancellor of the EFF? When the council members belong to the ANC, no. Even the vice chancellor is going to belong to who? The ANC. So do you see that even if you can try and protest and fight, if you don't deal directly with the ANC in 2024, none of these things are ever going to be resolved. So as young people, the time has gone for us to say, I am not... I want to focus on my studies. This thing of politics, I am not joining it. Let me tell you another secret. It's nice because most of you in Abalabi Gauteng, the chairperson of Gauteng will tell you that the premier, the premier of Gauteng, Panyaza, advertised, I think, 6,000 job posts for young people, youth, us. Says youth, here yeah, are 6,000 uh, posts. Of course, we know that they are only going to... Uh, employ volunteers of the ANC. But I want to show you something extremely scary that all of us should pay attention to. When he advertises 6,000 job posts, more than 1.8 million people apply for 6,000 job posts. We are still here on campus. We have not even gone to applying. Already there is a one million that is waiting in line looking for jobs whilst we are still writing exams here at the Val University of Technology. So what does that say about the state of South Africa? What does that say about us who are going to be dancing, who are going to be happy, who are going to be taking pictures with our family members, who are going to be taking belts, city, city were two degrees hotter, but when we go outside, there are 1.8 million who are waiting in line. Amanda will be there, 1.8 million and one, <laughs> waiting for a job application. So we must take this thing of politics and governance extremely seriously as the youth of South Africa. This voter registration program that the EFF is engaged in, it's extremely important because what we've realized is that Baninti Abant Abacha who want to arrive on the day of voting. And when they arrive on the day of voting, they realize that they are not registered to vote. Fighters, these old people, if you look at the statistics, they are not more than 800,000. The majority of the people, if the whole youth of South Africa could register to vote, we would remove the ANC from government in a heartbeat. Without even thinking twice. If you doubt what I'm saying, just open your phone and Google it. 
So it is us who have the powers to remove the ANC from government. Those people, they love the ANC. They are not going to stop voting for the ANC. Let us stop wasting time going to old age homes, trying to persuade them to stop voting for the ANC because even the ANC itself is an old age home, by the way. Your own president is more than 60 what, what years old. If you can just do an audit of all the NEC members and the members of parliament of the ANC, you will quickly realize that these people are grandparents, man. Actually, you are too, you are too hard on these people. How can we expect someone... Okay, seriously. How do you expect Nona Seventy to come up with an innovative and creative policy to end unemployment? A 70-year-old. Someone, when they are going to parliament, we are born about Kunzi, Amba. And you want that person to resolve your problems. You want a 65-year-old who is having cramps, arthritis, taking many pills a day to resolve unemployment in South Africa. No, let's be real. It's not going to happen. It is only young people with the necessary energy. It is you. Because by the way, many of you are going to come out of VUT with the necessary skills that we must take and plug into government. But if you have a corrupt government, a government that wants to sleep with you before it employs you, then you must know that there is no future in our country. So we must concern ourselves about who takes government in South Africa. We must never even want to outsource that responsibility. Even when you are drinking next year when we are voting, there must be something in you that eats you inside to say, what will I tell my children? Because our grandparents, by the way, we can insult them, we can shout at them, but at least they have a story to tell us. They are able to say to us, in 1994, I went there with all my friends, even my boyfriends, they were there with me, and we were voting for Mandela. So what are you going to tell your grandchildren about 2024? When they say to you, you had an opportunity to change the political landscape of South Africa, what did you do about your vote? So all of us here must register to vote. And all of us here must register to vote for the EFF. Why are we voting for the EFF? Because it is the EFF that can be an alternative to the ANC. It is the EFF that says political power without economic power is meaningless. So when we speak to the grannies, we must tell them, no problem. You have given us political power, but we can't eat that thing of political power. That thing of political power can't buy our house. That thing of political power can't pay for our bond. It can't pay for our school fees. We want economic power. We want to control all the economic heights of South Africa so that us as young people, we can create employment, we can fund free education. So, like I said, uh, I didn't want to speak long because we are here to celebrate. So we are not going to speak forever, Comrade SG. But whenever we meet as young people, we must take the opportunity to confront each other on this question. So the EFF has a very simple platform because all of us who are young people were operating on the cell phones. Just the other day, I downloaded a TikTok account, uh, Comrade TG. So you must not be surprised when you see me doing the dance moves there on TikTok. The EFF has a USSD, star one, three, four, star, two, zero, zero, two, four, hash. You, you put that on your phone, it takes you straight to the registration of IEC. So even that boy who is always annoying you at a club asking for your number, take the phone, Ufaki USSD EFF. Before we can, this thing of being a, 
every time we shall on abandon who are not even politically conscious, they are not registered to vote. Wam chong wam born a guri lo agayazne ID number yak. And he wants to be my boyfriend. Someone who doesn't know their ID number. Someone who is not even registered to vote. So we must be very deliberate about the program of voter registration. Because that thing that we are doing in FNB, if young people of South Africa do not come on board on voting day, on registration, we can fill up that stadium, but it will not reflect in the numbers in 2024. So FNB were filled up. FNB were going to fill it up, and all of us, the youth of South Africa, are going to fill it up. But we are making a statement now to say we have started the campaign for 2024. We are not going to wait for Ramaphosa to announce when the elections of 2024 are going to be. We have already started. We are already campaigning now as the youth of South Africa. Ramaphosa will find us on the way. So from now until 24, Makawa Naglal. From now until 2024, we're already on a campaign trail. Everywhere we meet as young people, we're preaching the message of voter registration. Star 134, star 2002 hash. It's not difficult. Before you take my number, at least register to vote for the EFF. Amanda! Hey! CIA FNB CIA CIA FNB CIA When I say 2024 you must say our 1994 2024 2024 Amanda Oh, see, I, I, F, and B. Oh, see, I, I, F, and B. Cho, cho, samba, no, malema. Cho, cho, samba, ne, goma. Cho, cho, samba, no, malema. Cho, cho, samba, ne, goma. Oh, see, I, I, F, and B. O si a ya FNB O si a teni ngati ni batala nani go si a ya O si a ni pecho ya traetis O si a cho cho samba no malema Cho cho samba no koma I know a young person, I know a young person I know malema Cho cho samba no koma O si a ya si o inyo ba O si a ya si o inyo O si a ya si o inyo ba O si a ya si o inyo A o chi o chi o Chi o mama chi o Chi o chi o Chi o mama chi Namazo eh Namazo eh Namazo, are you old? Oh, do you have arthritis? Are you old? Oh, ma, chu, chu, chu. Are you young person? Oh, namazo, namazo, namazo. Oh, ay, 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 ay. Tega ba esa? Nina Tretis, Nima Tarana, Ayo Cho Cho, Ayo Swola Le, Ayo Tele Lane, Chu Chu, Ayo Sikolo, Ayo Cho Cho, 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 Namazo eh, Namazo eh, oh.
Kwa Chu 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 Mulale Hawa namazo ha Namazo ha Namazo ha Oh One more time. Oh, no more. No more. No more. Oh, come on. 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 Oh, Chole as malema so zavala zase Bumagam nande Ate chole as malema so zavala zase Bumagam nande Ate chole as malema so zavala zase Bumagam nande Ate chole as malema so zavala zase Bumagam nande Hate Bumagam Nande, Bumagam Nande, Bumagam Nande, Amaja, Aweto. No, thank you very much, uh, Comrade President. Uh, thank you very much, Comrades Fighters. Uh, we are now going to uh, call upon our Secretary General of the Student Command. My name is Sotanta. Sazotanta. Sazotanta. We are now going to call our Secretary General to come and give the vote of thank. SG. Uh, President, people want to be young here. Yeah. So we must not be long. President has spoken everything. I just need to pass a few progressive announcements. The first one is that uh, the food is ready. <laughs> and then when the food is ready it's sufficient for all of us uh, three cows were slaughtered three cows are fully cooked for all of us so now I'm going to request uh, we must take president to a challenge he said he's a young person he's the president of young people and he's a tiktoker so I'm going to allow to request that all of us let's take the ch chairs, remove everything, take them to the bag. There are artists that are coming now. We must do a TikTok challenge. Marshals, marshals, can we have marshals here? Can we have a deployment of marshals here? No, that one control it properly, but we need marshals here. So there's a progressive artist that is coming on stage now. So it's not my responsibility to introduce. Also, this thing must go. MC, 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 Chow Kau Teng, we are doing a TikTok challenge, you are part of it. <laughs> hey, our MMC is leading young people, we are part, uh, MC, 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 come to your job, we are doing one song, Pasta, we are part of it as well, we are only doing one song, Can let us have the MC, they come introduce the artist, we perform with the artist once and then all of us we go stage and then we start with the entertainment. We become young people who are in a celebration. Amantla! Oh. Alright, Wafet, alright, Wafet. Are you ready for entertainment? I'm back now. I'm back. 
Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I'm just waiting for him to climb the stairs that side. Manda, make sure that he's entering from the back right now. Kachen is here. Are you ready for him? Ejo, Kachen is here. Are you ready for him? Asam Beba Fudge, Asam Beba Fudge. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Wait, wait, wait. You are too fast. You are too fast. You are too fast. You are too fast. Five. 